So trap and SCM, right? So, and it comes out post to your neck, goes underneath trap and over levator scap. So you can feel that. For him, what was really awesome is that he has a ton of tone in this, making the anterior border of his levator really hard to feel. When we drop this this way, you're like, oh, there it is. I found it really easy. All I'm doing here is taking tension out of that nerve, and so his trap tone went down a ton. Okay, when he comes to neutral, it pops up. If he goes forward only to here, and you think about, it, is that that much movement? And this is like a rock now. Okay, so if I think about this, if all it takes is this much movement, which is nothing, is there any muscle that's being pulled to length of this position? Is this challenging any muscle tissue? Not at all, right? So it has to be nerve. So if you have a small movement that creates a huge response, it has to be nerve or disc. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have people come up and just, I'm just going to put them in a relaxed position. You'll feel where that's at. And I'm going to put them in that slightly tension and you're going to feel the difference in those two tones. And then with your group, I want you to trace spinal accessory nerve. So you're going to walk down and find that and walk that down from essentially as it comes out of the neck, then walk through an over levator. So we want to make sure she's got some sort of tension on that tissue. And then so we work on that levator, we work on the accessory nerve. Okay. So with the spinal accessory nerve, you need to play around with positioning of her head too, because she might feel more. You might feel more tension when she goes straight down versus over to the side. 